Namaskar. Namaskar. Thank you for taking my question. I was wondering if you could speak a little bit about the role of the artist or art's role after you take up this practice or pursue this path. When you move into this surrender state, or the more you move into it, it's not like a goal you reached, it's a growing and deepening and widening and increasingly vibrant and potent process, the more every layer of consciousness deepens, widens, strengthens. And therefore, the expressions of each of those layers of consciousness deepens, widens and strengthens. So when you tune in to the Source, the very materiality of your system becomes more pliable. The cells of your body become more conscious because you're present here and now, and you're, you're moving with awareness into the cells of the body, into the materiality. And it goes laterally outward. Rather than leaving the system and going out of the system, you're in here and now and making the cells of your body more conscious. And therefore, the entire body is more pliable, more flexible, stronger also. Moving upward from that materiality, you move into the emotional part of the being. So the ability to master the emotions and yet experience them in a depth and a strength and a vibrancy which is impossible to imagine otherwise, it really is. Because what happens is that the awareness is, is sort of infusing itself into that realm of consciousness. So when you have an experience in the emotional, it'll become much more... much deeper, much more vibrant, much more powerful. The same will happen to the thinker. You're a writer, you're a creator of concepts of whatever kind it may be, from being a mathematician to being a physicist. All of those abilities at conceptual clarity strengthen, the very rational in itself becomes more powerful, stronger, more capable, more precise, more alert. And then, moving up further into the transformative, into the supra-conceptual, the ability at art, the ability in the occult. These are all the areas of the supra conceptual. An artist is not a thinker. For an artist to actually be an artist, they have to stop thinking in a way, they have to become transformative. And this tuning into source will just make you more of an artist in the sense that you will know how to express the artist in you, in a more precise, coherent and relatable way. I'll give you an example, like a painter who wants to express the spiritual experience, would, in a non-self-realized state, paint an, an angel with wings flying in a beautiful landscape. An artist that is in Self-Realization process needs just to draw one single line that can be a mountain or a rose turned the other way around. Much more expressive, much more precise, much more able to, to transmit something which is not conceptual. Whether it's music or poetry, even in poetry, the more you are in a state of Self-realization, in that process, consciously and in awareness, the more that poetry becomes potent. It translates something and transmits something that conceptual words, literature, can't do. So the artist becomes more of an artist, more capable of that kind of a translation, actually, of a transformative experience to the other person. People who could 
barely write a sentence properly, are eloquent because they are able to tune in and in that state of surrender, these faculties are just magnified and, and and I've seen it, I've seen it happen in front of my eyes over the years. You cannot really be an artist of greatness if you're not in a Self-Realization process. And I don't mean the greatness of the number of people who know your work, because that fades away with time. In my own lifetime, I've seen artists who were very, very big, and now they're like, forgotten. Because it's not timeless, it's not able to hold through over the decades and over lifetimes, centuries. That's only possible for those who have some Self-Realization, some form of it or some degree of it. And if you're conscious about it, try to imagine where you'll reach. Whatever you are, painter, writer, whatever it may be, musician, So, bend down, surrender, 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 tune into your center. That is crucial in this sadhana, in this process. Thank you.